town in America, whether big or small, urban or rural, is experiencing change to accommodate society's ever-growing needs. In areas that are known for their natural beauty, these needs often come with a sacrifice, as land is used to build everything from infrastructure to housing. But here in Page County, Virginia, civic leaders are looking at strategic growth that prevents rural gentrification. Today's setting is Shenandoah Woods. It's in Stanley, Virginia, which is part of Page County. And as you can see behind me, it's just this beautiful landscape. We're in the heart of Virginia's agriculture community. We're just in this beautiful surrounding of the Blue Ridge Mountains. The beauty in Page County is one of our greatest assets. And we want to promote growth and foster development, but we want to encourage growth that emphasizes what we have here and protects our scenic beauty and preserves the beautiful agriculture land that we have. To foster growth without compromising the natural integrity of the area, Page County leaders have taken an active approach in economic development that relies on non-traditional industries such as tourism and agriculture. Shenandoah Woods is a family-owned private estate resort. We have vacation cabins and we have a wedding venue. We have lots of guests that come to Shenandoah Woods, especially from Washington DC area, to escape city life, maybe just for a couple of days in a cabin in the mountains. We also host weddings with groups up to 200 people. And when we have a wedding here, most guests can stay on site in the cabins. Page County has put together a tourism council that is made up of a lot of area owners of vacation properties. The county collects a little bit of tax from the lodging guests and that is reinvested back into marketing efforts to promote Page County. Our main farm is named Trio Farms. That's a family operation that's owned between my dad and my granddad as well as myself. Back in the early 50s, my granddad started out by feeding a few head of cattle. He was very interested by a breed of cattle called a Scimitol cattle. His primary interest in it was is that he was impressed that it was, at the time, was the only breed you could get milk from, meat from, and also did work on the farm. Because of that, he decided in the late 60s to, to import that breed back to Virginia, specifically Page County on our farm, and that's the basis of our genetics today. Progress doesn't have to come with deforestation and overdevelopment. As we've seen here, it is possible to achieve sustainable growth and support modern businesses in America's naturally pristine areas. One of the avenues that we have seriously looked at here in Page County is agriculture, of course. It's our leading industry. In order to preserve these beautiful farmlands, we want to instill in our farming communities ways to be more profitable. We don't necessarily believe that more mandates is the best way to preserve farmland, but if you make farming more profitable, it will essentially preserve farmland. One of the projects we're working on right now is a food initiative that will promote a meat processing facility that will help yield higher revenues and profitability to our beef farmers here in Page County. There's actually so much momentum growing around that right now that our neighboring communities, Shenandoah County, Rockingham, and Augusta, all want to be a part of this cooperative. Page County wants to share with the world our natural beauty, our gifts that we have, the mountains, the river. Those are the things that we think that our guests want to see. They want to come to Page County or come to any area that's quiet and peaceful, stay in one of our cabins, one of our lodges, and have the family reconnect. We hope you remember when you eat one of our steaks is that you remember the taste of it. You know, the beauty of Page County allows you to, to elicit those senses with also enjoy the natural beauty, the sights, the sounds, the taste. We hope it leaves you with an experience that you remember and that when you think about, you know, where you want to live, where you want to locate, where you want to visit, that all those memories come back when you think about Page County. Page County is absolutely a wonderful place to live and to work and to enjoy all the beautiful natural blessings that we have here. But if you have that entrepreneur spirit, it will be fostered here. It will be encouraged. They really took the opportunities that are here in Page County and grew a career around it. And I think that that is one of the things that makes Page County so special is that independent growth, but community growth simultaneously. To plan your stay, visit pagevalley.org, and for investment inquiries, visit pagecounty.virginia.gov.